Hello and welcome to this little tutorial on particles. Let me switch to first person view. And I hit the ring, I hit create thing, and I drag in a sample cube like this. Now I pick up the color brush, but instead of adjusting the base material, I click this tab here, the particles tab, and now I can select from a wide range of different particle systems. Let's take the first one, let's pick a color, maybe red, and let's color in the cube. And you can see those little particles flying away here. Now I have a couple of properties for every texture, uh, sorry, for every particle. And the first one, for example, is the amount. Now I just hold my trigger on this hand here, and I drag it up and down. One, two, three, drag up, and you notice the amount is increasing drag down while holding the trigger here and it's decreasing. So let's take a little middle here. The second property is the alpha opacity. If I drag it up again, it will increase, become more clear to see. If I drag it down, almost disappear, way down, it's disappearing. The third one is speed of emission here. Drag it up and you can see the particles fly off much faster. Then there's the size of each particle that's emitted. Again, I hold the trigger here, put it up. You can see it becoming much bigger. Let's go away a bit and drag it up, 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 up. And you can see it's becoming very, very big. Let me increase the fly-off speed a bit more so you can better see them fly away. Let's increase the opacity as well. And you can see giant particles flying away. Okay, let's decrease this again. Like this. Increase the speed again. This one is the gravity. If I drag it down, the gravity will also go down, provided your actual area has gravity. Let me quickly ensure it does. Dot, 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 zero gravity. I turn this off for my area now, okay. And now you can see them falling a bit. Let me context laser, clone again, and pick it up where I left off. And I drag down the gravity some more. You can also have upwards gravity or negative gravity like this. Let's put it in the middle again only need to roughly hit the middle here to have zero gravity exactly. It's like a cutoff point here to make it easier to adjust. This one is quite interesting. It's like the emission source shape. By default, it will be the mesh, whatever the mesh is or your base shape is. So this is a cube, so it will emit from the sides. If I drag it way down, it will emit just from the edges. And as soon as I drag it over the middle, it will turn into a different emission mode. It will, it will have a little area box here, and the area box grows as you slide up. So let's go away a bit. You can see it's not just emitting from the shape now, but from this like invisible box around the shape position. So this makes it easy to place a little object somewhere on the ground or something and have, let's say, the whole room or this, the whole island um, show particles down a bit again. Now if we're in this um, range again it will emit from the shape but let me show you what that actually means. See when I increase the shape here like this the particles will also increase their starting point. So you can see they're flying off from whatever size this shape is. Let's put to a smaller cube again. So those are the properties. Let me show you some more particle systems that are available. We have these stars, for instance, painted in here. You might be able to see a bit of glimmering here, of glittering. Let's increase the opacity again to make it stronger. You can see those shapes here. Wait, let's take a dark base color. Maybe let's take one. Okay. 
And I switch back to the particles. What else do we have? We have a little cloudy effect. Some more. Let's increase the opacity so you can better see it. This is always just the starting point of the properties, but as soon as you adjust here, adjust here, you can see you have a wide, a wide range of effects for the same kind of particle. Let's take this one. A bit hard to see right now. Let's increase this. Increase this. Very nice. Let me make the area a bit darker so you can better see. Let me sort of make it an evening night glow. Okay. The direction can be changed by adjusting the position. As usual, of course, you can clone it, so you can combine different particle effects. Let me go back to this. Let's make sure the light is somewhere behind me so you can see the dialog. Clone this again, and pick the next one. This is a bit of rain, it's a bit hard to see in this environment. Let's take these little nice bubbles. Maybe I want the bubbles to emit from some kind of some kind of kitchen uh, pot here. And I don't want this cube to be visible in that case, and I want them to flow upwards. Maybe here you can see them better. So let's maybe first increase opacity a bit. Then we want them to be just upwards, maybe not as fast, so I'm slowing them down right now. And maybe a bit less, so I'm dragging down the amount here. Maybe let's make them blue, bluish, like this. And now I'm dragging the box like this. Oh, I need to make it here a bit wider. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with this. Now I click on the properties here. And I want to say hide lights and particle materials, which means hide them when you're done. So now the cube sort of disappeared, but you still have the particle effects. And now you can imagine if I have a little, I have a little pot here, something like this. So now if I want to go back and edit the particle system, I just need to context laser it, find it, go back to edit clone. What else do we have? These lasers are quite interesting. As you can see, some of the types don't have the full property set. This one just has the alpha opacity you can adjust. And you can see this one emits right from the, from the mesh vertices, from the edges. So what if I take another shape? Delete this one, go back to this. You can see it adjusts with the, with the body, with the shape here. Let's take this one. And you get different quite nice effects depending on how you, on which shape you pick and how you size and scale this shape. One very interesting thing is you can also animate the whole thing. Let me try this base base particle. Let's make it red. And let's say I want it to be switching from red to, let's say, blue. What I do is context laser the shape. Now I create a second state. And when I'm on the second state, I pick up the brush again. But this time I will pick this blue color. So we got red and we got blue. Maybe just for fun, add some gravity in the second state. Like this. Let's confirm this works. Red goes up, blue goes down. Very nice. Now I just need to make sure those are flipped automatically. So I click on the script. When starts, then become next in maybe three seconds. I select the second one. And I just copy what I just scripted. And become next in this case means go back to first since we don't have a third state. 
to start this animation in preview, I just need to click here. And you can see that works like that. If I hit save, I now got a nice little animated particle effect. So I hope you're enjoying these and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.